Hey guys, this is Oli from Oli's Big Picture here in downtown Shanghai. And I thought to myself, while I go today to the bank to deposit some money from my foreign bank account, I take you with me to show you how to withdraw money in the Chinese bank, how to deposit money in a Chinese bank. So without further ado, let's go. While on my way to the bank, I just came across those shared bikes here in Shanghai that are very popular. The yellow one from Meituan, while also the blue one from Hello Bike linked to Alipay. To scan the QR code, to open it and to use them, it's very important that you set up your Alipay app when you come to China. I will make a video about how to set up your apps and how to use them in China. Therefore, I will link it here in the description and you can check it out. It's definitely helpful to have it. You found an ATM like this, which one has also a bigger opening where you can deposit money. First, use your foreign credit card to withdraw the money from your foreign bank account. Just at the beginning, choose English and then choose Withdraw. After you put your card in, wait a moment until you can put in your PIN. Make sure that you always check out the pin pad because the pin numbers are sometimes upside down. It depends on the bank. Then once you choose it, then hit enter and just withdraw the amount you're looking for. After you got the money, go and take this money and then you wait until the process is finished and do not forget to take your bank card. In those ATMs, not only in China, also in other Asian countries, you first get your money right now and then you get your bank card. It's super important, I will say it again, take your bank card with you after you got your money. Now, when you finish this process, put in your Chinese bank account card and then you can deposit your money. You can do this at the home bank from this bank card but also on other banks that are not from this bank card. Then you would have to pay a little fee for it, for the deposit, but that's actually okay. You don't have to worry so much about it, but this is definitely the easiest way to withdraw money in cash, plus immediately deposit into your Chinese bank account and therefore have money transferred from your foreign bank account into your Chinese bank account without usually any additional fees as long as your home bank doesn't charge you any fees for withdrawing money in foreign countries. What's very important when you travel abroad, also to China, in my recommendation, always have at least two credit cards with you. Two is the minimum I would take in case one of the credit cards is getting cancelled by the bank or you have the issue it's getting eating by ATM machine, you lose it, whatever, whatever, always at least have two credit cards with you. And before you leave your home country, make sure with your bank you can use this card in the foreign country. For example, China, you will go. Sometimes certain countries are blocked and you have to open it first with your bank. And thirdly, when you are here in China, it does not matter which bank you choose, Wherever you go, every ATM works basically the same. They all have English options and they all charge no fee. And to my understanding until today, they charge no withdrawal fee, only there might be fees from your home bank back in your home country. So for you, every ATM you can find here in China should be working for you and should be fine. I showed you how this ATM machine works in the Chinese communication bank. 
I want to just have a briefly a look here with you how it works in Bank of China so that you can also be confident about that what I told you that you can use any ATM from anywhere in China. They are all functioning quite the same that you just get another proof of example. So let's check out this ATM here. At this Bank of China, the ATMs are outside for 24 hour service, but you can find those ATMs anywhere in the metro stations, at the airports, at other streets, everywhere you have plenty of those kind of ATMs. This ATM looks like you cannot deposit money, you can only withdraw the money. So if you want to deposit, you would have to find another one. And then the first thing you do, if you want cash, you choose English. And then when you chose English here, you just enter your credit card. Now it's asking me to enter my PIN. For the pin pad is very important. Make sure you check out how is the layout because sometimes the layout is different. Sometimes the two is on top. Sometimes the eight is on top. They, they switch it sometimes from bank to bank. So check out before you enter now your code. So, and then you have to choose your account type. For this, I would always choose saving account. Even you put a credit card in there, I know. I always personally choose saving account anyways. Please select transaction type. Now I select withdraw Please and then I select the amount. I don't like to have cash in China because I don't need any cash here in China for many years. Therefore, I just withdraw now the lowest amount for you to show, the 100 RMB because afterwards I don't know what to do with it. I pay everything by Alipay and WeChat Pay. Important after you got the cash, you will have to take your card. It gives you first the cash and then afterwards you get the card. Therefore, very important, always double check if you got your card with you. This is also in other Southeast Asian countries like this. Very important that you check after you took the money that you also took your bank card. To sum it up for you very briefly, I would recommend you don't do the hustle in your home country to go to a bank and already get some women B. You can just arrive here in China at the airport, take your Visa or MasterCard and withdraw the money with your credit card from the ATM. It's very important that you do this as soon as possible, that you have some money with you, because here in China, the most supermarkets, many restaurants and even some hotels, you have to check with them, are not accepting master or visa cards. Therefore, they only accept the local system called Union Pay. Union Pay also works fine in Southeast Asian countries, for example, in Thailand. You can use it there, but to get a Union Pay card, you guessed it, you have to open a bank account. Therefore, make sure you have some cash with you, even though it's not so well used in China, they still have to accept it in every places. Secondly, when you arrive, or better before, link your WeChat Pay and or your Alipay with your foreign credit card. I made another video how to use those apps. Definitely prepare it and check it out. Uh, and check it out, und ist German. And last but not least, as I show you, I never send money from my foreign bank account to my Chinese bank account. To be very honest, I'm almost 10 years in China. I even don't know how that exactly works because I never use it. If I would send the money from my foreign account to China, I would have go to the bank with my passport, wait until it's my turn and need an employee to help me to convert the money into RIMNB manually. This takes a lot of time and is a hustle. Therefore, I prefer put in my credit card in the ATM, find one where I can deposit my money, put in my Chinese bank card and right away deposit the cash again and it's on my Chinese bank account in less than 10 seconds. This is much, much more convenient for you. Definitely do this. You not just want to withdraw money, but also open a Chinese bank account. Then you need three things. You need, first of all, the passport of your country. You need a Chinese phone number and you need a Chinese address. The Chinese address can be 
yeah, your dormitory can be maybe even your hotel. Everything should be fine. Just have one. And then when you open the bank account, you have maybe to try several banks. It very much depends on the persons in the bank, how willing they are to do it for you as a foreigner, because they might be and maybe also not know the exact policies, if it's possible for you and your visa type. So I can only recommend to check out different banks, maybe not just Bank of China behind me, but also other banks and see if one of them is able to open a bank account for you. The nice thing about those bank accounts is you get all the documents and all the different cards you need at the same day. The opening process usually takes less than an hour and then you get immediately your plastic card. You can walk out of there and you never have to worry that you miss a letter to the address you gave them or anything. Everything you get at the same day. It's very, very convenient, but be patient and find a bank that makes it possible for you to open one. Good luck with that. This was a quick summary for you how to use the banking system here in China when you're new to it. Definitely when you want to open a bank account, ask a Chinese colleague or a Chinese study buddy to join you to help you with this process. Actually, it's very simple and easy as well. If you like the video, definitely check out my other videos and please help me to grow the channel so maybe one day I can buy a small coffee or something from it. Like and subscribe so we can reach as soon as possible the thousand subscribers. Thank you very much for your support and wish you all the best for your start here in China.